At least that's all I ever hear on my radio.
I guess in quite a lot of ways I grew up just like you A bullshit kid who didn't think the way they taught him to You kicked over the statues A roots rock rebel star Who knew that punk was more than just the sound of a guitar And I'll always remember the night of the rainbow When you wrote a soundtrack for my life Commandant Joe So many bands back then were like too many bands today A bunch of blokes who made a noise with bugger all to say The clash were always out in front, you put the rest to shame Your words were calls to action, your music was aflame You were our commandante and you raised an inferno And you wrote a soundtrack for my life, Commandante Joe in Brockwell Park Sting guns in Knightsbridge The Master, yeah Up and down the West Way In and out the lights Clash City Rockers Know your rights I guess in quite a lot of ways I grew up just like you A bullshit kid who didn't think the way they taught him to Like you, I always knew the words of music held the key As you did for so many, you showed the way to me Although I never met you, I'm so sad to see you go Cos you wrote a soundtrack for my life, Commandante Joe Although I never met you, I'm so sad to see you go Cos you wrote a soundtrack for my life, Commandante Joe Cheers. Is it really going out of hand? Rupert the 
Good evening, everyone. Right, before we go any further, sound check. Richard. Hello. Goose. Good evening, Square Rights. Chin chin, bottoms up. Steve. Hello. Welcome to this week's Celebrity Squares. <laughs> I was waiting I for wish one I wish I something more than hello now. I was, go, you, go, <laughs> go quickly. Hello. Go. Make the most of it now. Um, uh, that, is, that is Kenny Lynch impression. I was expecting one of you to just go, Uncle Brother. It'd be, it'd be funny, but. Uh, no, we're not that childish. <laughs> right, so we've got um, loads loads of stuff to get through tonight. We have got um, lots of music, loads of music segments. I've prepared loads just in case we had any problems. So 
there's no shortage of music. We've got brand new music. Um, Medium Love, who are a band that played at our summer do back last summer. Um, they've got they're doing some new recording at the moment. We've got an exclusive from them. Um, Dan Thomas, a lot of you know from Anna Chaos, has sent us a song. Um, he's now a kind of solo singer songwriter performer in his own right. So he has recorded something especially for you guys at home. Uh, loads of archive footage again. Footage from um, that I've discovered. What's up? Harlow Music Festival 1999, it says. It was uh, a festival, music and skate festival, put on to uh, celebrate the opening of the Harlow Foyer uh, that would have been happening the next year. So, anyway, we'll play that out. Our competition's now ongoing. Building. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so <laughs> add it to the list <laughs> of stuff in Harlow foyer? that isn't happening. Um, and our competition is going to be ongoing. We're also going to be joined by Elliot from. Hearts and Essex Community Farm and uh, Harlow Soup is going to talk to us uh, about those projects. They've got an, an online event as well. Um, so that's all coming up, but we have got a couple of moments for you guys to talk because I've, technicalities have starved you of that the last couple of weeks. So how have you guys <laughs> been? <laughs> um, yes, well, I've been, I've been absolutely fine. I've been down to uh, Dorset. Oh, no, I haven't. All right, Cummings. <laughs> <laughs> No, I had a good reason to travel and I wasn't sick. But uh, uh, but yeah, I went down there. It was nice just to go see my mum's house. And then um, uh, apart from that, furloughing away like mad. You brought some stuff back with you, though, that you found there. Is that what them tapes are? Yeah, I have, actually. Yeah, I brought back a machine which enables yeah. me. It's a marvellous thing. It's called a video player. Yeah, your mum nicked. Uh, and you can watch tapes with it. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to go through this large box of stuff that I've got. I'm going to torment everybody with... Uh, Something which is a little less millennial. Maybe. No change there, then, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys? Uh... Early day. I've, got, I've got, I've got, sort of a couple of New Year's Eves from 1990, 1990, 1991, and things like that. You know, way back. Oh, 91. I was 39 then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, been spending too much time on Zoom as per usual this week. Uh, haven't seen the sun, the usual. So. Uh, you know, you're the sun, Steve. Well, you know, you can't keep it quiet. No, oh, of course. Hang on, so we've got we've, like that. we've got Dominic Cummins in one corner and Boris Johnson in the other. So Who's come, <laughs> we're trying Who's to keep this, in the uh, corner. <laughs> Goose, very quickly, yeah. you're, you're good. Well, not very quickly. No one gives a shit what I've been doing. Come on, let's be honest. But um, you know, just like everyone else, surviving, man. You know, drinking loads of whiskey, gin, and uh, exercising, uh, cycling, a lot of cycling. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? And uh, no, it's been all right. It's been all right. I'm getting used to this way of life, actually. It's saved me a fortune, to be honest with you. you know, and it makes everybody else out there um, safe, the fact that I'm not out on the streets every day. Or in the bushes. Yeah, hiding in the bushes. <laughs> That's later on tonight. So I'm, I'm hoping that, that whilst uh, I'm keeping an eye on the comments, nobody's saying they can't hear anyone and it's just me rambling away as usual so i'm hoping this is good <laughs> tiff says which one have you used health on then <laughs> God. Well, let's, right, let's, let's uh, skip this <laughs> let's get move on to the next bit dan thomas dan thomas is watching so dan thank you very much for submitting your song i'm, I'm really looking forward to playing that out um a bit later on for everybody and um we've got some birthday shout outs coming out as well i'm not going to uh go too soon with that kind of stuff let's um if the conversation part of it is going to peak through, too early mate don't want to peak too exactly. early Exactly. I am keeping an eye on the time, though. So we have got um, our first music segment. So uh, Medium Love is a band. Um, Sam Russell and Heather Eaton were two um, members of staff at the Square in various roles, bar staff, technical staff, box office staff, getting mucked in with whatever needed to be done staff. And when we had our summer reunion last summer, um, I was adamant. I said to Sam that your band needs to be playing because... That's the, the the band that would have had a gig at the square, no doubt, without even needing to to talk about it. It just would have happened. Um, and obviously, without the square here, there's there's you know, previous to this lockdown, less places for new bands starting out to to play. So I was adamant that they would play, and they opened up the main stage for us. So he has sent me a new song. He said it's not finished yet. There's still stuff to be done. They're still recording it. So this is an exclusive, exclusive, because um, the band haven't even finished it. Um, but it's set to, I've put some visuals to it, which is all footage that has been seen, seen before, but it's from last summer. So the bands in it are, are from our summer reunion. Um, and let's hope that there's light at the end of the tunnel that we can do that again uh, in a summer to come. So 
a bit of archive footage after this, but here is brand new, it's Medium Love.
Cheers. So, um, yeah, brilliant. That was a uh, Medium Love, brand new track from them. Hope you all enjoyed that, and I'm looking forward to hearing the uh, finalised version and a lot more from that band, and looking forward also to bringing them back to Harlow sometime. Hopefully, we can do that soon. Hopefully, we can do it soon. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. We're now joined by uh, Elliot from Hearts and Essex Community Farm and also Harlow Soup. How are you doing? Evening. You're you all good? You're right. Yeah, yeah, all good, all good. Good, good. So two things quickly then. We want to get on to um, the, the soup and the, the event that you've got next week, but just a quick summary of the community farm, your involvement and what's what there. Yeah, so the community farm, basically, it's a shared growing space, um, sort of like an allotment, but the whole thing's shared between everyone. Um, all the food's organic and it's been there for the last, well, this is eight years this year. Uh, my involvement is basically just one of the people that helped start at the start. So just basically do a bit of everything, a bit of a dog's body. So. <laughs> and the, the farm, obviously you do um, events there as well. I've been, I've taken my son to the uh, like Halloween events and Christmas events, but you do the mm -hmm. annual farm fest as well and used to um, do the kind of after party part of it, the square, but um, who, yeah. who kind of takes a lead and who who has to kind of say on, on how that goes. So it's usually me, um, but then we usually have a, we sort of form a little group, whoever wants to get involved in sort of basically planning it, working out who's going to play. Um, so yeah, we used to do, it used to be mental, so it used to be, hit, my cat's just come in, so you're going to have to start <laughs> hearing it screaming at you for food. Um, someone's got some pussy. <laughs> um, so it'd be one till eight at the farm, and then we'd go to the square, eight till 3am, so yeah, it was a proper day. Um, loads of bands, loads of drinks. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was really good. And then, obviously, unfortunately, with the square not there anymore, we still would do it. But now we finish at we finish at six, so we just don't do the evening part because we tri trialed it in a few other places, and it just wasn't the same. We just were like, actually, it's just not going to same feel. That like it's just not a square. We tried to recreate what we had at the square, and you just can't. No chance. Yeah, yeah. No, no, exactly. We've experienced a similar kind of thing, but. It's always a great day as well, and you have like a variety of music on. I know um, you have like local performers. You've had names like uh, Billy from the Subways, who's done some stuff for us as well. And then there's the steel drums. It's literally a, a festival of 
everything. Um, it's great. Mm-hmm. It's really good. So um, Harlow Soup has uh, now been running for it's over a year. Uh, oh, two. You've been that ooh, Two and a half years. Jeez, really? Yeah. So we oh. the first one was February two thousand and eighteen. <laughs> So That's one yeah, the Phoenix. first the first one was a mental one because I was basically having dialysis at that point and at home we did the first I had to quickly have dialysis at home we did four hours and then finished ran home had dialysis so that's how the first and then two days later I had a kidney transplant so it was wow. a bit of, <laughs> <laughs> that's how that first Harlow suit went so and then you we thought you were him. busy. Yeah. I know, well, and part, and part of that first one is you had to listen to an idiot like me talking about sticking a piano in the train station, yeah, <laughs> which, which, which no one took on to anyway. But so Harlow Soup, then, as uh, you now run it, um, when when it's uh, a, a get together event at Pemberley Academy, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, let's let's w- what is the soup then for the people who who have never been or don't know? Yeah, I think it's a, it's quite a hard one to explain. I think once you go, then you experience it. But basically, essentially, it's a shared community dinner. Um, where we have four community, new community projects, or there can be existing organisations, but they just want to do something in the town. And it could be anything. It could be a musician. It could be someone that, like yourself that wanted to put pianos in the um, Harvey Centre, um, mental health, lots of different things. And they come along, have four minutes to talk about their project, and then um, everyone who's attended gets the vote on whoever they think is basically the most worthy or their favourite. Um, and then they get all the money from the door, which is usually about 600 quid. So it's so a good amount of money. And we sort of got around to starting that because through doing the farm, we knew how difficult it was to just do stuff. And particularly um, if you're just not involved in that sort of world of things already. Um, you sort of are up against it really so and then 600 quid when you're starting something new it goes a long way it goes a long long way so. yeah yeah definitely it, it's, it's it also I think for the people that are um, running the projects or maybe run projects themselves it becomes a big kind of networking event as well doesn't it you get to see the people yeah, that yeah. Are kind of make who, do, who decides who decides how the money gets so the audience so the, when the audience uh, basic people who attend come along they donate on the door it's usually it averages out about fiver. We just say pay as you feel. So some people put less, some people put more. Average right. out about five pound a person, and then um, everyone that attends gets a vote on their favourite ones. Right. Like a little secret did, ballot. Did, did you say? Did you say pay and have a feel? Pay, pay, pay as well, you feel. More, more interesting. I want to know is the farm. <laughs> the, the farm. Are you it's in a prime. Your... It's in a primary school. Remember that, goose. <laughs> yeah. Well, exactly. That's why I asked. Like and now, with regards. <laughs> <laughs> With regards to the farm, very quickly, are you yet growing any marijuana or not? Not yet. It's only a matter of, yeah, matter of people that have said to me. Oh, <laughs> it's a perfect cover, no, bro. No, it's, it's a, a perfect cover. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, so next, uh, the next that, because of the, the uh, dragons, then aren't they? <laughs> Sheep dragons. Because of the situation, obviously you haven't been able to do the, the collective soups at Pemberley, um, but you did do a virtual one, and you've got a virtual one coming up this Thursday. Yeah. So we did the last virtual one that we did was start of April, um, and that was basically just to respond to the need in Harlow at that point to do with the, uh, what was going on with the, obviously COVID. And it's still going on, but I think obviously it's hopefully obviously becoming better if we don't get the second wave of those. Um, and so at the t- yeah when we did the one in April, that was just focused on COVID related projects. This one we're going back to our original format where it's basically anything. Obviously, a lot of the projects are still to do with COVID because it's basically affected everything. Um, but it's more returning to our normal format of how we do things. So on this on this time round, though, you're are you sharing the money out equally? You was, I think is that the case? Yeah. So yeah. So normally it would be go to one project. This time, because it's obviously still a difficult time for lots of sort of organisations and people, and we're finding that actually we. Hope, and hopefully we find this again that more money is actually donated so last time we had one and a half grand donated when normally it's 600 quid so when you have right. one and a half grand that can go a long way um so that's why we're doing that and hopefully if the projects all get 300 pounds or something like that it's a decent amount of money it's a good bit of dope spunk going to the pub isn't it so i think it's, <laughs> it's, it's good to say that um the, the we're going to be presenting at that. I'm, I'm going to go on on Thursday, and we are going to be um, presenting our kind of GoFundMe for the well, our, our crowdfunding, whatever fundraising. Sorry, that's the word for our 
Town Park gig oh. when we're allowed to. So yeah, when you say still coronavirus related, once this whole situation is done, we want to throw that big party in the park. Um, and so we're going to be presenting on Thursday and uh, any money that we uh, are able to take from that will go straight into our pot to put on a big community event, free to attend um, when, when we're allowed to. So how, where do people need to go on Thursday and what time? What do they need to do? So it is half past six till 7.45. So it sort of coincides with for the end of it, for the clap for carers. Yeah. Um, I think it's the final one this week as well. So, and you have to just go to Harlow Soup Facebook page. So just search Harlow Soup, you'll find it, click that. And can you, once we're done, can you chuck a link in the comments here as well? So yeah, yeah, I'll chuck a link got an easy link to come out. Right, we're going to um, have to crack on with a bit of music. One quick thing though is, uh, yes, Elliot, sick haircut. Who did that for you? Look at that, myself, myself. I've gone crazy in isolation, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, lost the put, absolutely lost the put. Cool, nice one. Thanks a lot. Cheers for, for oh, coming cheers, guys, all about that. And cheers, um, we'll see you on Thursday. So, so good luck see with you Thursday. Nice one. We're now going to have a, a bit of music, um, little Married segment Juana. here, a bit of um, <laughs> a bit of um, archive footage. But as I mentioned, Dan Thomas, who a lot of you know as Dana Chaos from I don't know why I have to say it like that, but from Anna Chaos, um, he has uh, recorded a song especially for you guys. Uh, so here it is. What's up, Harlow Square? How's it going? <laughs> It's been a really long time since I got to say that. It feels good. Uh, my name's Dan Thomas. I'm a singer-songwriter from Hartford, but uh, originally I'm from Harlow. So I grew up at the square. So it's a real honor to uh, be playing for you all now. Uh, I wrote this song whilst we've been here in lockdown. Uh, I wanted to write a song about how much I miss everybody, my friends and my family. Uh, there's a reference to the square within it. See if you can catch it. It's not so. You will you will hear it. This one's called Every Boring Sunday Afternoon. Reaching, reaching out with all I have to hold you in a warm embrace. I just don't know. I don't know how long until I once again see your face. I only know this feeling in my heart Aching now we're all worlds apart And then we meet again I swear to cherish every single moment that we have together Every rainy day, every boring Sunday afternoon Cause no one knows when we will ever meet again Do you remember The time we spent when we were young Drinking at the stump behind the square Do you remember Singing to our heart's content as music Filled the air I recall that look in your eyes Reminding me that love never dies And when we meet again I swear to cherish every single moment That we have together Every rainy day Every boring Sunday afternoon Cause no one knows when we will ever meet again La 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 la, la, la. Sing along La 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 swear to cherish every single moment that we are together every rainy day every boring sunday afternoon because no one knows when we will ever meet again thanks very much guys thanks for listening uh, that, one said, that one's called Every Boring Sunday Afternoon. 
Hopefully I'll get a version of it out sometime later this year if we're ever allowed to leave our cages. In the meantime, everybody, stay safe, wash your hands, and look after yourselves. Love you.
sisters. And here we are. <laughs> That's how I have to do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks very much, Dan Thomas, for um, uh, for for that song as well. Steve Craddock there, but that footage, you yeah, uh, the, the prime beats eighty six. Six eighty six. Was it? Sort of yeah, we were just chatting about that room and what the that, different changes it'd gone through. Yeah, it was a it, that that was in its uh, that was in its original state. That, well, we're not it's completely original state. It's completely original state. That room had a big work surface that ran all the way around the outside of it and uh, uh, with units built in underneath. And the space in the middle was mainly taken up with tables that was used by Harlow's War War Games group. So it was a regular, that was like their room. And then when they disbanded and left the place, the units got ripped out. It was used for rehearsals because you could see in in that shot the original 1960s curtains and what have you in there. And that was the room that eventually became, uh, what did it eventually become? Yeah, the office. Table and the... We went through the games room and then it became the, eventually became the offices in our day. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it, we used it as a dressing room at the end, didn't we? But yes, No, that was the first idea. part of it was a dressing room, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 but then it had the... Again, though, didn't it become just room, the, yeah. Sort of storage room, but... But the whole back of the, that was all one room at, at one time. The whole of the back, you know, the, literally the whole back half of the building was one large room. That was even before we divided it. But that was way back, and I can't remember what it was too long ago. So that, that eighteen twenty-seven. <laughs> that footage. That, that I mean, I, I, don't, I mean, I don't mean I wasn't there. I was there. I just can't remember. <laughs> that, Wait, that, I wonder why that could be. Footage. You're losing your memory now, Richard. Is your short-term <laughs> memory going? Long-term memory going? Yeah, right to the uh, doctors. The yeah, footage that Pete sent us was from, from 1986, <laughs> anyhow, a rehearsal of the Prime Beats. Um, and yet Steve Craddock, the Steve Craddock show, um, and Dan Thomas, again, yeah, brilliant. Thanks a lot, Dan. And I think I've seen in the comments uh, some some uh, uh, links there to Dan's music, what he's doing now. So have a click on that. If you liked what you heard from Dan, have a click on that. Right, going to my list, we have... Where are we up to? We are at... It literally says chat about something and birthday shout outs. So we've yeah. chatted. Grace chatted. Jones was 72 last week. Who was that, sorry? Grace Jones was Grace 72 Jones. last week. Yeah. She was. Um, no, she's way too big for the square, mate. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, well, no, I, but he was. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant size wise. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> Uh, Willsy, Willsy Johnson from the, I, I uh, just expected her to come flying in behind you and cuff you for that. Yeah, yeah, Grace Jones. Like, your your <laughs> place was like the kind of place that she'd hang out. Willsy Johnson from the Culprits and Kabash at Blues earlier in the week had a birthday, a little lockdown birthday. And uh, Tiff, it's Tiff's 30th birthday today. So um, and she's, she's, uh, she's um, yeah, another person who, who, has, who has said that she's really enjoying these shows because it helps her remember that it's Saturday today. So... Uh, a lot, is it a lot of people setting their weeks to um, either either weekly quiz nights or Saturday at the Square? So thank you um, for for being with us, and thank you everyone that's, that's watching with us as well. Um, if you've got any birthdays or we just want to shout out some friends, then do let us know. And um, got any friends? Yeah, happy birthday, Biff! Uh, Biff, <laughs> Tiff. Happy birthday! God, I'm on. I'm on my. Fourth bottle of yeah, happy B day. You've happy been birthday. watching uh, Back to the Future, haven't you? Biff and chips, more like. Um, so happy birthday. Here's here's another little music segment. Um, yeah. hopefully catering for the stuff that Tiff likes. <laughs>
Tiff, hope you enjoyed that from the vaults. And anyone who um, 
was uh, here right from the start of the show. Yes, I have been raiding Martin Norris's <laughs> archive of videos and, and music and cassettes. Um, a few people saying about maybe some connection issues. Hopefully, um, it's not affecting it too much. But if the recording goes okay, it all goes up on YouTube as well. Any I've had an erection issue for a while now. <laughs> well, the internet would probably help with that. <laughs> no, it doesn't, mate. Cool. Everyone, everyone, okay here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah fine. Just what we've yeah. got connection issues. Or... Yeah, we got I'm, connection I'm issues. Sure. <laughs> I'm not. I've got some. I've got some blues up there. Can we use? Them? I can't believe. Basically, those videos, Smithy. You basically raided that mid two thousand ska punk, rich seam of cap down every six months. It was. It, it was almost like it was me walking into the square for the first time, grabbing everything and walking out, and then now I'm showing it to you. This is my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, we were. We were saying earlier about, um, and this is just simply because of the way that the material has come in. Mm. Uh, so I hope no one else thinks I'm. I'm being millennialist here <laughs> but it tend, it tends to be a little at the moment you know a lot of the material that we have because of the way that uh, it's been easier to record material on phones and what have you in the last 15 years seems to be from that, those 50 years so i am going to bother you i'm going to bother you with some a lot older stuff now i've got a tape machine um i'm going to no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna. I am gonna convert some stuff from, from way back. So we will see some stuff from back in the early '90s and possibly even the late '80s if I can well, get it to work. I think I did say did not last week. Sorry, Steve. That um, the fact that all these videos we've got that we've been recording all these last 20, 25, 30 years, we can um, convert them all and show them all. Basically, we could do the, the last thirty years of the square all over again. However, the fact we're only doing an hour and a half of a night is a small fraction of what we used to. So, Smithy, we can do this until you're 80. If you want to do the whole lot again, I'll be dead, Richard will be dead, and Steve will be in a care home drinking well, Coca-Cola. Right. We'll, we'll try and bring some new people on board. Maybe, maybe I need to start talking <laughs> to... get some young blood, yes. Yeah, I need to start yeah. talking to Sam Russell and people <laughs> sooner rather than later. Um, a few people are saying they've not had any problems. Dell's not had a single drop out of stuff. So hopefully, you know, it's all good. As I say, we, all these shows get recorded as well. We stick them up on YouTube and I'll send a link out. Right, time, time. I'm worried about the time. Go fund me competition, it says here. Right. So as mentioned, we're going to be on the Harlow Soup um, live show on Thursday. So please do watch if you can and vote for us if you want us to um, get some money from that to be able to put on this gig that we want to do in the town park when we're allowed to. I am flashing up now, hopefully, above my head. Oh, have I clicked it wrong? Maybe I'll keep it on there. Here it is. Um, a GoFundMe link. Separate from the Harlow Suit, we're doing this um, fundraising. And I've got a competition running at the moment. We're just about to get to the halfway point of £500. But I want to raise more than that. When we... Sorry, I'm burping now because I'm talking too fast. I'm aware of the time. When we get to a £1,000, flashing up on your screen now is a pair of Dr. Martin's boots. Well, it's one boot. But what we're giving away, we are giving away well, a pair, a brand new pair of Dr. Martin's boots. <laughs> and the way we're going to do that is when we reach a £1,000 on our GoFundMe, we are going to put all the names in a hat. And for every £5 you've donated, that's how many times your name will go in a hat. So if you've donated £20, you get four names in the hat. And when we reach a thousand pounds, we're going to pull a name out of the hat live on the show, and whoever wins gets to um, tell us our size. And we've got connections. We're going to get you a brand new pair of Dr. Martin boots, customized, custom hand painted square artwork. In so, China by slave labour, I hope. Please, um, <laughs> please, if you if you've already donated, your name's in the hat as well. So. Take them for coronavirus if you win them. Time, time. I'm looking at the time. I'm just saying. We're behind. Don't right. you feet to get coronavirus, dear. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is Toes correct. might drop off. That is correct. You have no balance and you fall over. There'd be no point having the boots in. I'm just saying. I'm still just going to click that, Goose. You, you, <laughs> you've gone into a bit of darkness there as well, Goose. You're darker than me at the moment. I thought I had... As he just. As he just. There he is. So please do, yes. And, and as soon as we're um, allowed to... Uh, in connection, in conjunction with Linkfest, we will put in on that part in the park. A couple of people have asked about our July the full four day. It's looking unlikely, isn't it? Um, when we postpone that, when um, all the ticket holders will get a notification, but we'll do that again as soon as we're allowed. And right, so talking about all dayers, festivals, fun like that. Here's a tape I found. Um, it's a compilation. It's got loads of bands on it. Someone asked for some DBS last week. Well, they're on this as well. This is. Um, from 1999, nice. and it's titled "What's Up, 
Harlow Music Festival, and it was a festival to launch the Harlow Foyer, which was um, a project launching the next year. So now a derelict any, building. Any of you guys remember that? From because no one before? needs anywhere to live anymore. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steve, it'd be interesting your, to see. I haven't seen era? the footage yet. I haven't seen the footage yet, but I'm sure we're, as soon as I see it, it'll be like, oh god, there's all the memories. So. Yeah. Well, one of the um. Uh, I've been speaking to a couple of guys because a couple of people have been shouting in the comments over the last couple of weeks. She must, she must. Well, yeah. it turns out looking at the faces on on uh, one of the bands, this predates even she must. There's a there's a pre she must she must, and it's not Trooper. It's when they were uh, doing their punk band. So um, I know that uh, Dell and and Paul and a couple of guys are, are watching in, but. Um, I remember doing the vision mixing for the she mosh and DBS doing the rock contest and the, the final and. Uh, Really funny. Using my my slick, cheesy seventies wipes. <laughs> Is that, from that, that, that thing I found the other day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, we're just going to be a, just about in time to, to play this footage. Um, so this is our kind of headline slot for the evening. Um, it's 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 a montage of stuff from 1999. Top Banana Productions put this together. Yeah. 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 Yes. We was all John Sellins, myself. I think it was Dan. Baber, was it? Uh, yeah. Heinze, uh, John Heinze, Dave Hines, yeah. yeah. Well, this... uh, Louise at the time, too, was a part of that. And, yeah, we, yeah. This is going to go out in its, in its complete edit as team, it is, so, so complete with intro and credits. Uh, everyone, we'll, we'll have a quick chat before we go after this, but this is um, What's Up?
sin I know like to He found my sin You can't see right through It's all been spent I've decided Better off dead What you There's a delay on it, so we're live. Oh, now, of course it is. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, because <laughs> that almost... night, if, if Dom yeah. O'Shea was vision mixing, we're live, it doesn't mate. say who was on the camera. Oh, that I would have been on the camera the night that he was. I, when I was on camera, and he vision mixed. So yeah, it was David, <laughs> David, some um, David. Oh, Dave Hines, Hines did Dave that Hines. night. Okay. Yeah, it's all live. Um, that live. We're we're live now. Are so, we back on there? Yeah, there's a delay. Yeah, so be oh, nice sorry, about the people. Bro. All those names you've just read out. Oh, I'm always <laughs> nice about everyone. <laughs> I'm nice about everyone. Someone in the, in the oh, comments Rich. about the Philbys, Dan Philby, Claire Philby. They, um, we're going to try and get them on a live show. They joined us afterwards uh, last week. so um, they're, Live from New Zealand. Yeah, they're literally, from, from going what they said, they're about to have their oh, breakfast. Lines, yeah. so, um, so, so in a week coming, we'll do breakfast with the Philbys. I really want to get that segment going. So yeah. Equally, equally we should find out if Jim Love is still around. He yeah. went moved to Australia. Same period, so... And a few people were asking about Elliot from DBS. Apparently, he's a, he went um, to Norfolk. He's a youth worker, working as a youth worker. Married a woman with webbed feet and hands. Um, <laughs> but there you go. That, that was that was well, Norfolk, up, isn't it? What's up music festival? There was, there was a pre Shemosh Shemosh there um, on that. She's brilliant. So I've, I've been speaking to Paul from Shemosh. He's got some videotapes. He's got the rock contest yeah. goose that you was uh, referring to as well. So we're going to get that. Yeah. Anyway, look, it is two minutes past nine. So what's my bedtime? We've hit it by only over two minutes. We've done well. Well done. Yeah. I loaded up a load of music segments for this week because I was worried about the sound stuff, but um, it turns out everyone's internet's crap instead. So I can't do anything about that. Especially Richard's cheap package. <laughs> Under yeah. £20 a month, you cheapskate. <laughs> you did. Right. Thank you, everyone, for, for watching in. Um, it is really good to have you all here, and I hope that um, you you enjoy it as much as we do doing it. And uh, people do send messages to us saying that they do, so that's great as well. And um, we're going to keep going through this archive footage. Richard's going back and back into the... Uh, the uh, Even further into the archive, we're going further into the cave 
1750s. Yeah. Oh, we could have done with one of your effects there, Ghost. Yeah, yeah, no, we could have done, mate. We'll sort that out. I'll tell you some. So, um, Very cheesy 70s. We're, we're going to look. I mean, one one of the tapes you you quickly sent us a thing. I said the Redwoods, Redwoods video. Yeah, Redwoods. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I don't Redwoods. want to put too many teasers out if we can't deliver. But... No, I've got, I've got I've got Redwoods Austin shirts. <laughs> it, would, um, it, would, it would be good uh... to find. It would be good to find as well the video that Murray filmed in the square about 92, 91, I've got 92. It. I've got it. Yeah, got see it. that. I, I'm in that video as a dancing around very drunk. Then we need well, to find it. <laughs> <laughs> I have these. I have these, and I also have a uh, Blythe Power. I have um, uh, the well, not, as you say, not to eat teasers, but let's make sure we can deliver. We'll I've got it. some videos in my loft. I've got breaking them in, breaking them in young, balls deep. Um, a few other titles I can't think there, but I can dig them out and. And have you, have you got your, if you want. Have you got your youth works certificate to, uh, to go yeah. with? I think, it ran, I think it got revoked. Right, listen, now we've, it's three minutes past nine. Therefore, we are definitely at the end, just in time to uh, to, to finish. <laughs> <laughs> to yes. climax, as it were, Goose. Let's end yeah. on the high, though, Richard, for you. Yes, yes, the shirts is a comment. So let's get some shirts on next week. Can you get your video sorted by then? I can. Cool. I promise. Right, thank you, everybody. Oh, Remember, false promises, nothing worse. <laughs> if you uh, if you want to contribute to the GoFundMe link, please do. And then when we're allowed out, we'll throw a massive party in the park. Um, Harlow Soup online this Thursday. Do a search. Just literally type in Harlow Soup, and you'll find it. Support those Mary guys. Joanna. Support the farm. Support us all. We're all trying to do really good stuff. We're trying to keep you happy whilst you're locked down, but also even outside of this situation, we're just all good people trying to do good stuff. Fighting comments from everybody. Yeah. Love you, Square Eyes. Right. No. Uh, put this drink on my comps list. I'll see you all next week. <laughs> yeah, and keep sending us things to uh, if you've got, sh- especially if you've got shout outs and things like that. Get them in early. Early in the week is best, and then uh, we can definitely fit them all in. Yes, we want more comment content from you. Oh god, I'm, I've, I've, I've right too many beers. See you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Ta-ra, puppets. Bye.